Good morning, thank you for joining me. I hope everybody's well. Time for February challenge and as I film this it is just before the beginning of February and I've decided that February is going to be a month for decluttering. I am going to attempt to declutter three items, only three items out of my life every single day in February. Feel like this is a doable number without going too mad and um, hopefully the momentum will keep me carrying on throughout February. I'm going to film it slightly differently to last month's 30 day challenge. I'm going to film the segments daily to show you what I'm getting rid of, just very brief segments. So this video may end up being a little longer than January's challenge. But I'm always interested in what things people are decluttering so I thought I'd film the whole lot sort of as I go. I also want to get back into exercise. Um, I haven't done any exercise since I was ill last September, went to hospital and then uh, through the, throughout the remainder of last year I was sort of waiting to get my gallbladder out, getting my gallbladder out and then recovering from getting my gallbladder out. And I always think January is the most god awful month to start any sort of exercise regime. It's dark in the evenings, it's dark in the mornings. I like to walk on the treadmill, we have a treadmill here, um, out the back in the conservatory type room. Um, and I like to walk on the treadmill, I like to do it first thing in the morning, and it's just, January is not the one to embark upon that. It's cold, it's dark, and there's nothing I want to do less, so I decided not to do that in January. Um, I'm feeling like March is going to be good for treadmill walking, but for February, what I'm going to try and do is some sort of five or ten minute stretching video on YouTube. I feel like I need to get my suppleness back. I'm very achy and... Um, I don't know, I've, I've turned into one of those people that groans when they get up off a chair. <laughs> I'm aware that's slightly an ageing thing. <laughs> Ashley does it as well. Um, but I feel like I could do with just some gentle stretching and movement. So I've got several videos bookmarked on YouTube and I'm going to try those out. I'm going to try and do one every single weekday in February. That is my goal for that so decluttering and a bit of stretching for february wish me luck let's go day one of decluttering it's the first of february and today i have done the long overdue task of clearing out my tupperware cupboard i'm just looking at it to see how nice it looks now i've done it and got a few more than three bits to throw away today got all these lids for containers that don't appear to exist anymore I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Loads and loads of lids with no bottoms. So those are all leaving the house today, straight into plastic recycling, and I feel like that's a good start. Day two of February declutter challenge and I'm getting rid of this one today. That's going to the charity shop. It was a piece of acrylic makeup storage that I don't use anymore. I've just sort of rearranged my makeup storage and that was surplus two requirements. Um, this very, very old Revolution lip gloss, which is going in the bin because I think it must be past its best. Um, and this is a double. This is a little... Um, MUA blusher which I actually bought this exact shade a little while ago and used in a video and then this was in a glossy box recently so that one's going into the past along to family or friends pile so that's today's three items good morning day three of the big declutter challenge and I've cleared out a food cupboard this morning we've got some stir fry peanut satay sauce best before 2019 we've got some porridge oats um, best before December 2021. My plan is to mix these two together and put them out for the birds in sort of um, balls type of thing. I think the birds will like that. Um, we've got some sun-dried tomatoes from goodness knows when. I can't find a best before date, but they're black, so I think they only fit for the bin. We've got some Southern Star gravy mix that I used once and didn't much like, so don't think I could do very much with that. I think that would just have to go in the bin. Um, we've got half a packet of crispy chicken old El Paso stuff. Best before November 2020. Bin, I think. We've got an almost full tub of this nutritional yeast, which I believe is a vegan 
option for making stuff cheese flavoured. Um, it was rank absolutely disgusting we've got some organic coconut flour that has been in there since i had a bit of a go at keto wasn't for me um which was at least several years ago and i can't find a date on this but as it's organic it must be well past its best so again i'll try the birds with this um yeah so that is one two three four five six seven things for today Hello there, I've got two days worth of stuff to show you today because I didn't film anything yesterday. Um, so we have, it's the 5th of February today, I had to work that one out. Yesterday I cleared out my makeup bags and I am getting rid of one, two, three, four, a little Selfridges pouch, I can't remember what came in that but I don't need it anymore. That was five, six and seven all the ones that are reusable which is i think that one's really marked inside and that one's really marked on the outside so they will go in the bin and anything that's usable to be used again it will go to the charity shop then for today i've got this candle that i finished off this was the aldi gingerbread orange and cinnamon layered fragrance candle um i have washed out the jar and that will go in the recycling i've got this eye palette which is for single eyeshadow it was a magnetic one that came from makeup revolution years ago um i haven't used it for ages got rid of all my single eyeshadows um a while ago so that one can go um and then this has got a tiny bit um it product in the bottom but i've had it a good couple of years and it's the amber Solaire factor 50 spray for over your makeup like almost a SPF 50 setting spray type affair from memory I didn't love this but um, as there's only a tiny bit left and I've had it for so long I thought I'd get rid of it now so that one's going as well so that is a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten for the last two days okay another two days worth of decluttering here we have another empty candle jar this one's got sort of, it's glass, but it's got sort of plasticised stuff on the outside. So I don't know if that one will recycle or not, but I'll see if they want it. Um, it's the perfect Christmas, that one. And it was just lovely. Um, got two brand new pairs of Primark sunglasses that I just don't know why I bought. In my defence, they were cheap. <laughs> they can go to the charity shop. Um, yeah, bad buys those ones. Um four packets of popcorn left over from Ashley's popcorn advent calendar which was a disaster because this packaging made it stale for some reason and it was all completely stale and we got a refund they were very good excellent customer service but stale popcorn the stock normal popcorn from Joe and Seth that comes in the big packet is absolutely fine but four of those I'll pop, probably pop that out for the birds because the birds seem to like popcorn and aren't that fussed whether it's stale and then a packet of Beecham's Flu Plus best before October 2015 <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to make that focus to show you that but yes it was a bit out of date so those are going straight in the bin so that's one two three four five six seven eight things for today an absolutely hideous angle if ever there was one um but there we are that's what we're doing today <laughs> another three things to um declutter today i've been through a bit of some summer clothes today and getting rid of this little strappy blue and white dress it's got pockets just i like it i still like it and it's nice stretchy fabric quite nice quality fabric i think it was only sheen or something like that but um i just feel the strappy style is a bit much these days for me i don't, I don't like my upper arms on show and i prefer something at least with a cap sleeve even on holiday um, much the same for this really love the colors of this it's a jersey maxi dress with a tie waist um, but a strapless one like a beach dress but a maxi one um, again strapless don't love myself in strapless even if it's just over a swimsuit but I've had really good wear out of this one over the years this is an Asta one so those two will be moving along and then we also have this perfume from Shea and Blue this was in, I think, in an advent calendar, and it's called Black Tulip. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm filming on my phone because I don't know where my camera is. 
<laughs> I always look in the wrong bit. I think I'm looking in the right bit now, but I tend to look at myself rather than in the camera and it's more obvious on the phone than it is in the camera. Um, yeah, black tulip perfume, lovely. I like it, but it just doesn't last on me. It's gone in about five minutes. So that's today's three items. It's three days since I last filmed, so I have three days worth of stuff to show you. We've got a broken hanger going into the bin. We've got two manky old cushions, which are all a bit pulled and just past their best. I don't know if you can see. Pulled and not great. Um, we have got a round hairbrush that I do not use anymore. Um, a blusher that I don't use anymore. That will be passed on because it's hardly used. Um, this is a bronzer. Bad packaging. I like the product. Don't like the packaging. Um, I've used quite a lot of it, but I can't stand the fact that the packaging's broken, so that's going to have to go. I've got a body scrub, which is a bit past its best. Smells a bit funky, so time for that one to leave. I have got, oh, that's really annoying. The body scrub has just left a big mark on that. I've got two travel wallets, um, which I think I was going to send to the charity shop because I thought somebody might like those. They're quite nice. Um, but that one has now got a big circle of mank on the bottom of it from... Oh, well, that one will have to go in the bin, I guess, unless I can get That's oily, so it probably won't come off. That's annoying. Never mind one of those things. Um, I have got this makeup but, um, case, which I used to use to take on holiday, but now I've got my new makeup bag. I really like it. Also, this is a bit... It actually doesn't look so bad on camera, but it's very marked inside. I don't know if the camera's picking that up at all, actually. It doesn't look like it is, but maybe it is. Um, yeah, so I don't feel like I can send that one to the charity shop because it's so marked. I might try and give it a clean up, but it's all sort of oily foundation and stuff. So, yeah, I feel like that one is really only fit for the bin, unfortunately. But I loved it while I had it. And then finally, a pair of exercise leggings that came from Sainsbury's that I think I've worn about twice. Um, I discovered llama leggings not long after buying these and I much prefer the llama leggings, they're more comfortable so these ones I will probably pop on vintage I think. Right, let's count up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven things today so that's another eleven leaving the house. Another day, another bunch of decluttering, this hair curler, um, I'm probably going to sell this one because I think they sell it for not bad money, so the perfect curl hair curler I haven't used for ages, I don't know how many years I've had these false eyelashes and glue for, but they need to be thrown away. Three pairs of coloured tights, um, I went through a phase of wearing coloured tights and I haven't put, put them on at all this winter, so those are going, and cleaned out my sock drawer which you can probably tell from the ties one two three four five pairs of socks that are surplus to requirements that's five six seven eight nine ten items for today good morning another four items leaving the house we've got another candle a christmasy candle a hot buttered rum one which has been finished washed and is going into recycling a hair clip that i've had for literally years and never used i don't think and that's disappeared under the sofa now, so I have to rescue that, and um, that can go in the bin. Um, a glasses case, which is a bit big and cumbersome, it's a monsoon one um, that I've had for years, and I don't use it, so that can go to the charity shop because it's in quite nice condition. Um, and a pair of leggings that have holes in, so they are going in the dustbin as well. Four more items leaving the house. I think it's, four, it's the fourth day since I last filmed decluttering. I have been decluttering though. Today I am getting rid of four of these nail polishes um, which are all brand new. They are gel polish. They were sent to me I think and um, I'm going to send those to the charity shop because they've never been opened. That's another five mini gel polishes. I don't really use gel polish so much anymore. I tend to use the just normal nail polish. Um, so that's another five, and then I've got all these ones, which are used ones, which will just go in the bin. Oh my God. <laughs> There's four there. There's another three there. And then I've got a packet of stick-on different coloured um, nail polish, stick-on nail 
they're not nails they're nail polish strips I don't know what I was thinking there's about there's loads in there well why, why did I think I was going to have gl green glittery nails um ridiculous absolutely ridiculous um so yeah they can go to the charity shop because they know it being used and this is a little chrome powder thing that I used to do on top of gel nails occasionally very fiddly and that's going to be binned and then I've also got this top with the silver shoulders from New Look, which I don't love myself in and I haven't read for ages. It's a slightly funny fabric, so I don't like that one. That'll go on Vintage. And this one I bought from Vintage last year. It's yours clothing and it's black and white check. I love the check, but I don't like the ruffle down the front. Um, and I've, I've worn it a few times, but I don't very much like myself in it, so that's got to go. This one I've had for absolutely years. This is Peruna, really nice satin blouse. Um, but I wore it quite a lot and then I haven't picked it, uh, not at all at this last year, I wouldn't have thought. So time for that one to go as well. So that's a total of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 things today. That's a good um, number, isn't it? Another day, another three items to declutter. I've got another candle that I finished, another wintry candle. That was lovely, the bourbon maple. That was uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, a Fawera foundation, that used to be my absolute favourite until I found the Revolution one and I don't like it anymore, it's too thick and just doesn't suit my skin at all. So it's only about a third full, I know it looks full but it's about a third full so that one's going. And an eyeshadow palette from Essence that I just don't enjoy very much anymore um, and is a little bit past its best if I'm honest. So those three are all going today. Not sure that light's good enough, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it, and I'm using it as a mirror now. Um, another two days have passed. Another two days worth of getting rid of. So we've got some these shoes, which I've had for years. They originally came from a charity shop. They were Marks and Spencers, but they're from a charity shop. I've worn them, but they're too high for me now, and the back slip off. And um, these again were a charity shop purchase originally from June. I loved them, but I, they, they're not comfortable. And if I'm going to wear high shoes these days, they need to be comfortable. Same with these little boots from Marks and Spencers. Again, from a charity shop. <laughs> Do you see a theme here? Um, they, they're so, I love this cut off type thing, but they're so uncomfortable to walk in on the front there. It just hits the front of my foot where it sort of bends at the ankle. And it's super, super uncomfortable, which is a shame because I really liked them. Um, and then these little boots from Next, which I picked up on Vinted um, and thought I would wear a lot. But again, they're just not that comfortable. So all of those are on their way out. This very annoying pizza seasoning thing, which does have some pizza seasoning still in it. But it keeps getting bugged up on the top and it's meant to be a twisty one. So I've had enough of that, that's going. This lipstick that was recently sent to me by a brand, um, it's, that's the name of it. It's a bright red lipstick. I don't ever wear bright red lipstick, so that one will be passed along. Um, then finally today, this very large t-shirt, which is a funny fabric, I don't like it. So, and that is brand new, I haven't worn it. It came from Timu last year and um, I thought I would wear it, but I just didn't like the feel of it in the end. And so that one it will go to the charity shop. And that is it for today. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items leaving today. Another day and another three items to leave my house. One is this candle, which is the Aldi version of the White Company winter candle i think um, it's tunneled really badly it's nearly at the bottom it's down to about there i'm going to call it done um not particularly impressed with the scent on that one but it was quite pretty a um, pair of trainers white trainers from primark about three years ago super uncomfortable didn't really get on with them so they can go to the charity shop and oh one two three four five six makeup brushes that i don't use anymore or haven't used or don't want for whatever. Mo actually, most of them are used um, past their best. And a rather manky looking brush holder as well. That's going so. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items today leaving my house. Another day in February, another selection of things to get rid of. The world's most uncomfortable headband 
these edge bits dig in <laughs> so that is going um a plastic holder for a makeup sponge which i never use haven't used for years so that can go and two really quite unpleasant fragrance oils that don't smell very strong and what they do smell of isn't particularly nice so they were about, I think it was a pack of three for a pound. One of them was okay, but these two were not nice at all. So four more things going today. Good morning, another couple of days have gone past. We are decluttering once again today. And I am getting rid of this very nice complimentary beach bag that we got from the Sunny Resort. I've, I've had two or three of these over the years. And um, it's just, I don't need a beach bag this big anymore. I've not got kids toys and all that sort of thing. I'm long past those days. We are more minimal when it comes to beach bags. Um, and that is why this one is also going. This was one that was a gift from one of the resorts we stayed at the Maldives, Karumba. Lovely place for a water recommendation for the Maldives. Um, yeah, again, lovely bag, but too big, and I don't need a bag that big. Can you tell I've been through my handbags cupboard? And this vintage 90s Louis Vuitton bucket bag, I just don't use anymore. So I'm gonna sell this one on because um, I bought it secondhand anyway. But um, yeah, it's just not one that I get pull out of the cupboard. So rather than sitting in the cupboard, I'm gonna sell that one on. Right, also today we've got this little Kate Spade purse. <laughs> I left this on a plane. Um, <laughs> and had to drive all the way back to Br Bristol Airport to get it and it put me off it ridiculously <laughs> um yeah also it, it j just the size of this does not work for me um so that one I will sell on as well and a pair of little ballet pumps they came from a charity shop that they'd cut too far forward on here so I don't like them very much and then next originally I'll probably pop those on at vintage so if anybody wants them a pair of tights that are going um, that are slightly damaged um, this is a lipstick that was sent to me that's bright red it's absolutely not my color might see if my mum wants that one editing Caroline here I would just like to clarify that the item you can see sitting on the sofa behind me the white sort of cylindrical item is in fact a tripod rather than anything else that you might think it is because I've just noticed it's there and um, I thought perhaps I'd better clarify that just in case your minds were going in the wrong direction <laughs> Um, and this is two little Melon and Gotts perfumes. I've sprayed them once and I don't like them at all. One is leather and one is cannabis. I just I didn't like them at all. Um, actively not like so. So those are going in the pass along drawer as well. So that is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things going today. Another day and we are all about the candles today. This one is a Marks and Spencer one. It's a sort of Christmassy one. It's china rather than glass. So you can't see it burning through the candle, which was a bit disappointing. Um, I should have thought about that a bit more when I bought it. It doesn't smell particularly nice either. In fact, I don't even know if it is a scented candle, that one. But um, yeah, I've lost interest in it. It's about three quarters of the way done this one just doesn't smell of anything I've had it too long I think it's a sand and fog one and it's tunneled terribly so that's going and this one is pretty much done the wick on this one is a wooden wick and it keeps going out but I've managed to get three quarters of the way down it but it's um, just not playing ball anymore so three candles going today it's the final decluttering segment of the month and today we have three days worth because I haven't filmed for the last two days. Today's the 29th. This jumper, I've had this a long time. It's sort of a long line jumper from Yours Clothing. And I loved it and wore it a lot, but I just haven't reached for it this winter at all. So that one will probably go on to Vinted. Another jumper, which is brand new with its tags. Got a tag on still. This is New Look Curves. It is a lilac jumper just this neckline does not do anything for me at all i love the color i love the style of the jumper but the neckline is just a now i've put it on several times and taken it off so i thought there's no point keeping it is there if i don't love everything about it i'm not going to wear it so that's going as well and then a sort of beach cover-up-y thing that came from a charity shop originally 
and um, again this can probably go on to vintage um what else have we got in here this is a whole bunch of cold and flu tesco cold and flu sachets which are best before um january 22 so they are going we've also got an empty joe malone box i sell these as empty packaging but i've got a few of them um a little makeup bag type thing um an eyeshadow palette from primark which has gone hard and doesn't work very well anymore um a kate spade card holder that i've used a little bit but i'm not going to use anymore so again that's probably going to go on my vintage that over there a lip balm that i don't like that i've used about half of but i find it quite drying rather than doing what it should do as a lip balm what have we got here this is the eyelash serum that i think i had a reaction to i have very itchy eyelids when i started using it so that one is going um what have we got in here we have got a little pry beauty um eye serum i don't use a separate eye cream so that one come on focus doesn't matter it's going anyway and finally three empty perfume subscription containers they can go in the bin right let's have a count up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen more items leaving today and that is the end of my monthly declutter. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of that decluttering. I just wanted to do a roundup at the end of the month for my February challenge. I think this will probably have been quite a long video by the time I edit all those segments together. I don't know how many items I've decluttered in total, but when I've counted up, when I've edited what you've just seen, I'm going to put the total across the screen now. I think I've done pretty well. I feel like I've got rid of loads of stuff, which is really good. Um, I feel like I do. It's always a work in progress, though, decluttering, isn't it? It needs to be continued for sure. There's plenty more that can go, I'm sure. Um, with regard to the other part of my challenge, which was the daily stretching videos, I'm not going to lie, I did it once. Once, once, once. <laughs> that was all I managed. In my defence, February has been a difficult month. I didn't have the mental capacity to force myself to do it, I'll be perfectly honest, and so I just didn't. <laughs> That's all I can say. So half of the challenge has been a great success, and half of the February challenge was just put on ice. I'm going to call it a win anyway, because, you know, at least I did half of it, which is 50% more than I would have done if I hadn't set myself the challenge in the first place, wasn't it? <laughs> or possibly 100% more than I would have done if I hadn't. Look out for March's challenge. I am going to be embracing joy during March. I'm not entirely sure how yet. I need to work on that a little bit, but that will be shown at the end of the month. Um, so look out for that towards the end of March. Thank you very much for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.